And I like this. I mean, look at, did such a great job with these fence. And I mean, it makes it feel like we're in a tree here. I'm in Japan visiting my old friend and fellow treehouse builder, Taka. After checking out some of his other treehouses, we've made our way to the Rizanare Resort in the coastal town of Atami. Look at, we're already way off the ground. Little did I know that it was gonna be so mind boggling. I mean, I didn't even know what to look for. So what a, what a nice treehouse you no, created. No, 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 this is not treehouse, that's a treehouse. What is that? <laughs> what? Oh my God! This thing is out of this world. This massive structure is shaped like something out of a science fiction movie. How? <laughs> I mean, oh my God. There's metalwork that wraps around this magnificent cinnamon laurel in ways that I never thought possible. And sitting on top, an organic domed room just resting perfectly like a bird sitting in its nest. Taka has really outdone himself. I bow. <laughs> is this the biggest tree you've ever built in? Yeah. yeah. This is my first time this size. It's one of the biggest undertakings I've ever seen any treehouse builder take. I mean, this is exceptional. I gotta go look at it. Okay, Come on, let's, let's, go. Go. let's go. I gotta look okay. at this. I can't get over all this. Look at this tree. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a look at the tree. size of that. As a treehouse builder, you know, I've seen some big trees. This is about top of the scale. Cinnamon laurel, wow. Just the branches are bigger than most trees I've ever seen in my life. You can't help it, you've gotta just get up and touch the tree. I mean, you have to. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Yeah. This is unbelievable. How old is this tree, you think? Yeah, this is over 400. Yeah. Over 400 years yeah. old. Wow, that's older than the United States. OK, keep showing me. This is, I have so much to see. This is not your trellis to grow snap peas on. I mean, this is structural, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This treehouse is so huge, and it being on a slope, in order to hold the weight of the people safely, I didn't think tabs alone would suffice. That's not moving, yeah. ever. Normally, a trellis is a lightweight wooden frame that you'd grow vines on in a garden. So to see one reimagined in solid steel as the structural support system for a treehouse just blows my mind. How did you get all of this measured so carefully? I mean, the way it threads through, all of these triangles fit perfectly. I wouldn't be able to do it myself. We had architects come in and use lasers to detect hundreds of points on the tree. He actually scanned it, made a 3D model, which turns out was absolutely critical to the design because you've got to thread this support system and avoid all those branches. You can't cut them. I've never seen anything like it. Gorgeous work being drawn up into this gorgeous tree. And we really are high up here, Taka. It's amazing. Amazing! <laughs> So is this that mixture, that, that soil and, yes, and uh, yes. mortar kind of a thing? Yes. But wow, I mean, look at this. Look at, we're above the clouds. Right. How high do you think this is? 15 meters, 45, 45 feet. 45, 50 feet. Taka, this is beautiful. Should we go inside? Yeah, it looks okay. so cozy in there. Shoes off. Shoes off. This is incredible. This is a treehouse, and yet I felt like we were entering into the very heart of the tree itself. Taka's desire to blend nature and structure couldn't be more immersive. Look at all this gorgeous woodwork. Yeah. Right in the middle, one of the big limbs comes right through the whole thing, which is one of the neatest things to have in a treehouse. Look at this crazy yeah. window. And then this. It cuts the branches. So yeah, it bends with the branch. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. It's shaped in the back, too, so you can. Yeah. Kind of sit here, and, and sit I love here. how you shaped all that yeah. too to match the windows. And now, what's over here? Is there? And he's uh, sit here. It's a so chair. Yeah. And you put your feet up on this tree. Mm -hmm. We found ourselves instantly putting our our feet up onto the tree that was then moving in the in the wind. Wow! Can you feel that tree move? Yes. yes That's the most important part, and it was magical. I've seen you do it now over and over, over the years. And yes. This is your latest mm -hmm. creation. And, and yes, the latest. I think in so many ways, it's the most incredible. I believe this treehouse is not complete just yet. It's supposed to look more at one with its surroundings, more beautiful and less forced into the environment. It just doesn't have those elements just yet. Maybe a treehouse is never quite done. Mm, I know, I Is know. Is that right? Yeah. As treehouse builders, sometimes you're not entirely satisfied with a project. You could go on forever. 
but a place revolving around a tree like this reminds you of why you're a builder in the first place.